Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. So this is gonna be a 1792 full proof. This is a store pick from Don's Liquors and Wine. This is gonna be, again, this is gonna be a really nice pick as you'll see as we kind of go through it. Really, really nice uh, bourbon. So the coming in, again, the full proof, 125 proof or 62.5% uh, ABV. Uh, mash bill standard 1792 uh, mash bill on this one. Uh, it is non-age stated and the MSRP on this is right around 60 bucks. So I think in terms of what this has to offer, you know, 1792 generally uh, has some, you know, higher aged type of, of bourbons and a lot of the, the nuances of what it is that they have to offer really start to kind of shine in some of these bourbons. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, into the review. So color wise, as you can see, again, this is a kind of a nice, deep, kind of rich copper type of color. And as you move the whiskey around the glass a little bit, really nice oils. Again, there's probably more than likely some chill filtering going on with this one. But again, at 125 proof, you've got like a nice viscosity that's gonna be there on this one. And it's gonna translate probably very, very well. Really nice oils on this one. So. Hopefully that will transition over to the palette and, and really kind of start to, uh, to shine a little bit. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, into the nose. Oh boy. So right away, an incredible like amount of baking spice, a lot of that like cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of clove, um, some of that like a uh, anise kind of aspect that's there to it. Nice oak presence. Nice vanilla custard on this one. And a really nice amount of orange. It's a lot of like orange citrus. It really started to kind of shine or kind of punch through a little bit right there. A little bit of a corn on the cob. That's one thing I do get with um, some of the 1792 full proofs. A little bit of a corn aspect that's there. Nice dark rich chocolate aspect. Nice dark fruit. So this is probably more of like an intense dark cherry type of aspect. A little bit of a nutty characteristic that's there. And I want to say a little bit of a, or a touch of a banana note. I know that's one of the aspects that you'll kind of get from, you know, Barton or 1792 at times is a, is a little bit of a, a banana. And, and I don't know if it's more in my head in terms of knowing what it is, but I think there's a little bit of a, a banana, maybe even a banana nut bread. There's a slight nuttiness that's there. Again, some of those really nice dark fruits, the spices, that baking spice really starts to come out a little bit. And this is one I would say that if you have a 1792 or this bottle specifically from Don's, let this thing open up a little bit. This is where these will start to shine, these higher proof, you know, they need a little bit of air time and the more air you kind of let them or let it kind of hit there, this will start to shine a little bit. So you'll see that with these, give it some time. It'll, it'll reward you in the end. Yeah. Fantastic baking spice. And I would say there definitely is a little bit of that banana note. It's more of a banana nut bread aspect, more, more so than just a straight banana aspect. Really nice nose so far. These, these really, these 1792 full proofs, they have a lot to offer. I think it's a good price point. You know, a lot of times they're anywhere from maybe that 50 to $60 price point. You know, this has a lot to offer. A lot of that citrus that's there. All right. More importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one tastes. Cheers. Boy, heavy heavy citrus. Again, this is um, a really nice orange citrus on this. Nice sweet oak aspect that's there. Great spice to it. That's one thing that's probably been consistent from the nose to the palate is this fantastic baking spice. It probably has a little bit to do with that, that oak presence that's there. But again, nice orange citrus. Nice oak, more of a sweet oak that's there. 
it, it's kind of giving the impression of a little bit of age that's there as well. There's a touch of butterscotch on this as well with that, that nutty characteristic that you've got. So again, maybe a touch of the, the banana nut bread that's there on the palate as well. Nice vanilla aspect. It's very custardy. Nice mouthfeel. The proof definitely lets you know that there's some proof to it. So you've got to be careful with this, especially if it's your first pour of the day. Take your time, let your palate become acclimated because it's going to come across as a high proof, you know, bourbon, as you would expect, 125 proof. Nice nuances to this thing, though. Nice layers that are there. It's a nice single barrel that they have to, to offer. So I think the guys who've done the, the, the selecting at Don's have done a really nice job with, with this one. I don't know if it's super off profile by any means. I think it's a little bit more typical in terms of what it is that, that you know 1792 has to offer. So if you like the full proof, and you like that spice and the orange citrus, or maybe a little bit of that banana nut bread, I think you'll really, really enjoy this. Definitely some chocolate on this one, some dark fruits. And the more I just kind of sip on it, and the more it sits on the palate, definitely more leather starts to come out in this one. It's very much, I mean, that citrus really lingers. So you've got the leather, the citrus, the spice, the sweet oak, that banana nut bread. It's a really nice 1792. I mean, I would say foolproof. I would say it's probably one of the better ones I've had recently. At times, they can be very hot, you know, not overly enjoyable. But I think in terms of what this one specifically has to offer, I think there's some nice layers to it, which makes it very, very approachable especially to people who enjoy a, a higher proof bourbon. This not only has the proof that's there, but a lot of different really nice, well-balanced flavors, a lot of different like kind of subtle differences in, in this one. So yeah, definitely a little bit more of that cherry chocolate that's there on this one. So again, let this one open up a little bit. So I've got down a little bit, a uh, little past the neck on this here because I wanted to give it some air time. So trying to judge a, a whiskey, especially high proof, right off a neck pour doesn't really do it any justice. So I've had this probably now for well over a month. So I've given it some air, uh, had a few pours out of it. Let it just kind of develop. So this is where these start to kind of shine. So the more you kind of get into these, let these kind of sit around, you know, it'll reward you in the end, the more it's kind of open, sits out. And even when it gets down a little past the, the neck and you get to kind of the shoulder part of the, the bottle, even when you pour it, let it sit out for five or 10 minutes. It'll, it'll kind of reward you. So just take your time, slow down a little bit. It's kind of the point of bourbon anyway, slow things down, just kind of enjoy it, take your time, all of that, so. I would say as we transition over to the finished part of it, again, those lingering baking spices, that nice orange citrus, that banana nut bread that's there, the vanilla custard, definitely. The more it sits on the palate, more of the vanilla custard kind of comes out on, on this one as well. Yeah, those leather aspects. It's a really nice, interesting blend of the, the leather um, in that orange citrus, it's a really nice kind of mixture. I'm, I'm really, really digging that. Nice oak presence, good mouth feel. The proof is definitely there. It, it doesn't blow you away with the proof like some of the, the full proofs I've had. Some have been so hot that it's really hard to like enjoy them, but this one really comes across very, very well. So there you have it from Don's Liquors and Wine. Uh, this is their 1792 foolproof pick. I will have a link in the description below if you'd like to find this bottle uh, specifically. 
click the link and they'll take care of uh, all of your needs from that standpoint. So want to say thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Greatly appreciate you guys tuning in, supporting. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, all of that. Uh, all helps to build the channel and we're working on our way towards 10,000 subscribers. That'll be a, an awesome uh, kind of feat uh, from, from that standpoint. So if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to help support the channel or be part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club where Jason from the Mash and Drum and I do a lot of barrel picks, uh, become a patron and that will get you part of uh, that club that we have and part of all the picks and stuff that we have going on as well. So uh, again, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Greatly appreciate all of the support and remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.